In this tutorial, we're going to learn snapshots with the SWS extensions in Reaper. Now to open up snapshots, we'll go to the extensions menu right here and pull down snapshots. Now we could also make a keyboard shortcut for this. Go to actions, type in snapshots, and right here, open snapshots window. We'll make it F4, but again, it doesn't matter what we choose as long as we remember it. Now if we hit F4, it opens right up. The snapshots window allows us to save snapshots of our mix or of our tracks and their parameters. So let's say we have a mix set up right here and we like the way it sounds. Let's take a look at what we have. We have some drum tracks here, some bass tracks, some guitars, a lead vocal, some double vocals, some background vocals, and some effects returns. And if you notice, there's plugins on all of them. There's even some plugin track controls here to control the plugins. We have some effects ends, and we have volume and pans. All the typical things that would make up a mix. So let's create our first mix snapshot. We'll have it set to full track mix. That's going to save everything in our mix. Pans, volume, mute, effects change, solo, and sends. Hit new. And this is our first mix. So now if we go down here and adjust something, say the room mics, pull them down. We can go back in here and click this. Now watch this fader. It pops back up because it recalled our first mix. So let's create another mix. Let's move some of the faders around, make the kick a little louder, the snare lower. I'm also going to turn off the bass distortion track. I'm not sure if I like it for this mix. Bring those guitars up, those guitars down, bring the vocal up a little. Now let's play around with the panning as well. Right now the overheads are hard left and right. Let's bring them in a little bit. We'll do the same with our guitars. And the double vocals. And the background vocals. Now let's also play around with our effects. Let's get rid of our drum compressors. Just delete these. Let's get rid of our bass EQ. And that should do it for now. That's our next mix. So let's hit new right here. And that creates a new mix based on everything we just did. So now, just by clicking these mixes, we can recall mix one against mix two. Mix one, mix two. So let's make another mix. This time, we'll delete the EQs as well. Same with the bass compressors. Let's pan our overheads to the middle. To make the drums mono, we'll do the same with the guitars and our vocals. We're going to delete the filters on the background vocals and we'll get rid of the reverb on the background vocals, the double vocals, and even the lead. And let's turn the reverb off the drums as well. Go for a real dry mono sound. And we'll lose the guitar EQ. Let's also turn off the room mic and the bass amp. I'll bring the bass up a little bit, bring the kick up a little bit, and the snare. Bring these guitars up a bit, vocal down a bit, just to make this mix a little different. And now we'll save that as our third mix. So now we have three mixes saved for this song, and we can switch through them very easily. Mix one, mix two, and mix three. And if we wanted to change something about a mix, like the overheads, bring them down a little bit, we could update that very easily right here. Right click this, overwrite snapshot. And that overwrites this one with the new changes. We could have also done it right over here. Save. On the PC, it'll be control click. On the Mac, it's command click. And just click these with the modifier. So we can bring our overheads down a little bit. On the PC, you hold on control. Mac, you hold on command and just click it. And it updates that snapshot or that mix. And we could delete our snapshots by right clicking as well. Right here, delete snapshot. Or we could do it from here. Delete, alt click on the PC or option click on the Mac. Hold on the modifier and just click the snapshot. It deletes it. So it's a great way of comparing our mixes on the fly. And besides recalling them from here, 
this action set up. Do the same thing. Go to the actions dialog, type in snapshot, and all these actions are set up for snapshots. Down here, you see we can recall them right from this window. Recall snapshot one, two, or three. And obviously, we can set up key commands to do that as well. And also down here, we could save our snapshots with key commands also. Now besides recalling our full mixes here, we could also recall part of our mixes by using this thing right here, filter on recall. If we choose this, and we choose custom, we could choose parameters to recall individually or a few at a time. For instance, we could just choose mute. And with this selected, filter on recall, if I go to mix two, the only thing recalled is our mutes, in this situation our bass distortion. Go to mix three, the room mic is muted, along with the bass amp and bass distortion. So the only thing that's being recalled right now are the mutes. Let's turn this off, go back to mix one, and let's turn this back on again, and this time we'll recall just pans. And if you remember, on the first mix, everything is panned hard, either left or right. But with our second mix, we brought it in a little bit. So watch these pans. See how they change from here and here, here and here. But it's the only thing that changed. Because on our filter here, we only chose pan. And in mix three, if you remember, we made it mono. So all these tracks are now in mono. Full stereo, somewhere in between, full mono. So it's just recalling our pan. And we can do the same with volume. Just the volumes jump. Watch down here. Mix one, two, and three. The only thing that's changing are the volume settings for all the tracks. And we can do the same for effects chain. Mix one, mix two. See the effects change. And mix three. And we deleted them all. Or our sends. Remember, mix three. We turn the sends off, but mix one and two, those sends are back on. And if we want to go back to recalling our entire mix, just turn filter on recall off, mix one, mix two, and mix three. Now we could also just save things based on individual parameters. So let's try saving some tracks soloed. We'll choose this here, move over a little bit to our vocals, and let's solo the lead and the doubles. So now, with custom selected and solo selected, the only thing that's going to be saved are the solo state of all these tracks. And right now the only thing soloed are the lead and double vocals. So we can hit new, but before we do that, it's a good time to show you this feature down here, prompt for name. If we choose this, whenever we hit new, it asks us to name the snapshot. So now if we choose mix one, it goes back to mix one with nothing soloed. But if we choose solo four, those tracks get soloed. Even if we're on mix two, hit mix two, hit solo, these tracks get soloed as part of mix two. Or mix three, those tracks get soloed. The only thing that this actually does is solo those tracks. Because all we did when we saved it was save solo information. And we can check that by right clicking over here and choosing show snapshot details. If we choose this, we can see the details for that snapshot. In this case, just whether the solo is on or off. So off on all these, except for down here. On here, on here, and on here. That's the only data that's being saved in that snapshot. If we went to mix one, do the same thing, we'll see a lot more detail. Our kick has volume, pan, mute, solo, effects, effects chain, sends, and each track has all that stuff. Because mix one is a full track mix, where solo four is just the solos. We don't have to even use the feature filter on recall, because the only thing we're recalling in this situation are the solos. So let's do the same thing with mutes. Under custom, we'll choose mute. Let's get rid of these solos. And let's mute all the vocals from here to here. So now if we save this, with just mute turned on with the custom filter, it's just going to save the mutes. In this situation, everything is unmuted except for the vocals. Hit new. 
So now we can go to mix one. It recalls mix one with nothing muted. Mix two. And now with mix two, we can turn off all the vocals by hitting this. And everything else stays the same except for mute. Because again, that's how we saved it. Go back to mix one. Now another feature we can take advantage of is right down here. Recall selected tracks only. If this is chosen, only the tracks that we select are going to be recalled. So if we go over here to the drums, let's say we like the drums on mix one, but everything else on mix two. We can achieve that by using this feature here, recall selected tracks only. So we go to mix two, we'd select our drums, choose recall selected tracks only, and now if we hit mix one, only these tracks are going to change. And it's going to be for every parameter because we're not choosing filter on recall. So now we choose mix number one and watch the drums. They all changed, but nothing else changed. Go to mix three, the drums changed again. But again, the rest of the tracks stayed the same. So we'll go back to mix one and we can do the same thing with the bass. Let's choose the bass tracks. We can go to mix one. That's how the bass was on mix one. Move this over a little bit. So that's how the bass tracks are for mix one. If we switch to mix two, they change on all the parameters. And mix three, same thing. It all changes, but just on the selected tracks because we chose recall selected tracks only. And we can also save selected tracks only by choosing this thing right here. So let's go back to our full mix one. Let's go over to our vocals. And let's play around with our lead vocal. We'll select it. Let's bring the volume up a little bit, pan it over here a little bit, get rid of the delay, get rid of the de-esser, and the filter. So now we could save this by choosing Save Selected Tracks Only. And it's still going to save all the parameters, but it's only going to save information for that track. So let's hit New. Let's name this lead vocal. And to double check that we did this correctly, just right click it, go to the snapshot details, and notice all the parameters are there but just for this track, lead vocal. So now we don't have to worry about recall selected tracks only because the only thing that's actually on this snapshot is lead vocal. So we can go to mix number one and the entire mix is recalled. But if we choose lead vocal, just that track changed because the only thing that was saved with this snapshot was the lead vocal parameters. Let's do the same thing with backer vocals. We'll go over here. Let's get rid of these EQs. Maybe get rid of the delays as well. And let's pan these a little differently. Move this one to here and this one to here. We'll select these tracks and we'll choose Save Selected Tracks Only. So anything we do here, let's bring these up a little louder, it's going to be saved with the new snapshot, but only on these tracks. So we'll name it Background Vocal. So now we can recall mix number one or mix number two and just hit Background Vocal. And just the background vocal tracks change. Nothing else.